Hello guys and welcome back. Uh, this is me, Hassan Abdurrahman, uh, one of the FRCM course academy co-founder and instructor and hopefully are doing well. Uh, today's topic, we are going to talk about the missed pneumothorax, conflict with relatives regarding missed pneumothorax. So this station will be one of uh, two ways. Either uh, parents, that brought the, they brought their child a day before who was complaining of shortness of breath and chest pain and have been seen in your emergency department by your colleague and uh, then they discharge uh, the child home with uh, an instruction that everything is okay and they prescribe for the child a painkiller like a paracetamol. And upon reviewing the x-ray back a day after, they found that there was a tiny pneumothorax which had been missed. That's why they called the relative to bring the child and to come to the hospital uh, for this purpose. The other scenario might be that the child came a day before to the emergency department and had been seen by your colleague and x-ray was not done and patient discharged home and the symptoms is getting worse and the father or the one of the relative, they brought their child to the general practitioner clinic and the GP conducted for them an X-ray. An X-ray showed that there is a pneumothorax. That's why they have been called to come to the hospital for workup and for management plan. So either one of the two scenarios. Usually the relative here have no idea. They have just being called that to come to the hospital, they don't know what's going on. So here your task is to talk to the relative regarding the missed pneumothorax. So how things will be done, I'm going to talk in details regarding the work for this station and how things can be conducted in, the, uh, in this station. You have to read the task carefully and you have to understand all the circumstances of the event and if there is any additional notes, try to find it and try to read it as well. So after understand your task and read your stem carefully, here now the first step you have to introduce yourself and your position in the emergency department. Usually in this situation, you have to mention to the relative that you are the most senior one in the emergency department, the most senior clinician on the shift. You have to confirm the identity of the, uh, the relative and their relation. You make sure that they are the parents of the child. And then you have to take verbal consent that you're going to talk to them regarding a specific point and offer chaperone. And then you can start this station by asking an open question regarding their prior presentation a day before. So I've been told that you have brought your child a day before uh, because he was complaining of shortness of breath and chest pain. So at this level, the parents will start to tell you about the story yesterday. And now you have to ask about the child. How is the child now? And where is he or where is she? After you made sure that the child is okay, and he's doing fine for the time being. They might describe that he's still having some ache, chest pain, and shortness of breath, but he's okay and he's with us and waiting outside. So here now you have to tell the relative about the new finding and why they called, uh, why you called them to come to the emergency department. Because you, now you have to explain to them that there was an hemothorax which had been missed yesterday. That's why we called you to come to the emergency department today. You can start from their yesterday presentation and continue your talk until the discovered event. So yesterday I brought your child because he was complaining of shortness of breath and chest pain and have been seen in our emergency department and eventually discharged home. And upon reviewing the image, we found that there is something called pneumothorax in the chest X-ray of your child, which is a tiny rim of air outside the lung. This is called pneumothorax, which have been uh, missed yesterday. That's why we called you 
to come back to the emergency department and to examine your child back and to make sure that your child is okay and we're going to provide you with the uh, full instruction, verbal and written instruction. At this moment, the parents will start to express their feeling. So they are very angry, they are very frustrated. And so here, if they start to express their feeling, please give them a time to rebreathe their feeling out and listen to them carefully and try to not interrupt them at any point. Let them finish. They will start to attack you, attack your hospital, your colleague, that this is not a, a good way of work and there is some sort of negligence and uh, the physician who saw uh, my child a day before, he was not a competent. So let them finish their talk and then you can just find a, a time to catch yourself back. So please don't interrupt them. Allow uh, for them a good time to finish their, their expression. And then after that, you have to start to reassure them that this is mild and this is subtle and this is very small, uh, tiny rim outside the lung. That's why it had been missed yesterday. You have to support your talk here and support your point that we have a backup system in our hospital, which is a radiology consultant, a consultant who is specialized in reading uh, images. And this consultant duty is to review all the images done for all the patients came to the emergency department in a daily basis to not miss any small, tiny septal air outside the lung like the one for your child. So that's why we called you back here to make sure that your child is okay and to provide you with an instruction regarding the pneumothorax, which will be verbal and written instruction. And we are going also to provide you with a red flag symptoms for which if any one of them developed, immediately you can come back to the emergency department. Still at this level, the parents might be angry and still they are uh, frustrated. So try to show understanding uh, from their uh, parents' point of view and uh, continue reassuring them that this is uh, very minimal. And as well in, a, in, the, in our hospital, we have a frequent debriefing and learning points from such incident to prevent it from happening in the future and to improve the quality of care. That's why we are making sure that our work is optimal. That's why we are reviewing all the images done for all the patients came to the emergency department. Do not miss any small uh, subtle things like this. And uh, stay, stay to them the management plan and the advice. And uh, you, as the most uh, senior clinician in the shift, you are going to re-examine the child back and to make sure that everything is fine and if needed, we are going to repeat the x-ray again and to check the vitals of your child and to check for his breathing and the level of the chest pain to make sure that he's okay and we are going to provide you with the full optimal management plan. If the relative start to ask you, just yes, I, I want to see the doctor who saw my child a day before. So here, again, you have to restate that you are the most senior one. And if they have any concern or any points to be addressed, I'm here for you. So you can address all this point to me and I'm going to answer it. I will be more than happy and uh, try to reassure the relative as much as you can uh, for this uh, missed pneumothorax. Uh, now, if the parents, they want to write an official complaint regarding the incident happened. So, so here, you will show them that this is totally possible and they have the right to raise a complaint regarding the incident happened and the complaint will be dealt with a high confidentiality and will be dealt with a very seriousness and shortly they are going to contact them and to tell them what to do next. After you mention these phrases, here, immediately you have to deviate them away by again reassuring them that this is very minor and this is very subtle and it can be missed, but the management plan will not be different. 
and we are going to provide your child with the optimal care that they deserve. And we are here for you, and we are here to serve you and provide you with the optimal care. Uh, we as a physician, uh, this is our role. That's why we are working day and night, day and night in the emergency department to improve the quality and to improve the care provided to our patients. So you state that they can write an official complaint, but at the same time, try to reassure them and deviate them away from writing an official complaint. Uh, so let's uh, let's recap the points of this station. So you have to read the task carefully and you have to make sure you understand it and try to uh, look for any additional notes. And then you have to confirm, uh, you have to introduce yourself first and your position in the emergency department. You are the most senior one and you have to confirm the identity and the relationship of the child. Uh, and uh, the relative and you have to take a verbal consent and offer chaperone and you can start with the open question uh, regarding their prior presentation yesterday and how is the child now and the state that yes yesterday they came and uh, then explain to them what's the uh, things discovered which is an pneumothorax and explain what is an pneumothorax try to use simple understandable language non-medical simplify the picture to the parents because they are not in the medical field so just try to use and select your word to explain to them and uh, after that when they start to express their emotion please give them time to rebreathe and uh, let them express all their emotions and then try to find a good moment to catch and to define yourself back and to defend yourself back and when they will start to attack your hospital and your colleague here you have to support the hospital and you have to support uh, your colleague and you have to state that your your backup system in the hospital the radiology department which reviewing all the images and plus we have frequent depriving learning points uh, to prevent incidents uh, such like this uh, from happening uh, plus you have to state the management plan and here the management plan should be clear to the parents that what we are going to do now and you are going to examine the child by yourself and to going to check the vital signs including the oxygen saturation and the blood pressure and all other stuff and you will do full reassessment and and then state to them that you are going to provide them with the full written and verbal instruction upon discharge and when to come back to the emergency department. So here the advice at the end will be the advice for pneumothorax that there will be no flight and to come back to the emergency department if they develop any chest pain or any shortness of breath or any worsening of symptoms and uh, to avoid diving uh, ever. And uh, those are the red flags for which if any things happen to come back to the emergency department and you can seek medical attention. So the tips here to pass this station easily and to gain a good mark. First, that you have to maintain uh, the rapport with the relative all the time and try to avoid escalation of the conversation. And you have to be calm and you have to uh, be professional and show the skills of listening. So listening is a good communication skill. So you have to show your listening uh, skills and then show complete understanding by support and at the same time try to justify yourself back so this is in case of uh, if they attack you or attack your colleague so show understand uh, for their uh, for their point and then you have to support yourself back so you can use the matter of i can understand this i'm really sorry that you feel this way but at the same time, you have to justify yourself back. So this is uh, listening and tell, listening and tell. And while they are talking, try to not interrupt them. And here they might in purpose start to interrupt you while you are talking. And uh, here you have to show that you can, you are able to listen. And uh, if they interrupt you, you are just give them a chance to talk and you are not interrupting them. And uh, hopefully you'll find this record uh, useful and uh, looking to talk to you uh, next time. 
Uh, until that time, please stay well and uh, see you soon.